Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we're going to help this baby shark awaken race B4 and become pro. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. Where the echo slam on the dancing forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Are you ready to turn this baby shark? into a real monster, we need to first reach V2 Shark Race, right? So what is the requirement, Gamer Nom? We need to reach level 850. So in order to do that, we will go back to the first sea and grind. But first, check this out. We are going to the underwater city. Oh, someone's grinding, I think, Fishman Lord. Let's mind our own business and buy the Water Kung Fu. So guys, Shark, Water Kung Fu, not bad, right? So it will cost you 750,000 bellies to buy it. There you go. Now we have a fight style. And for our fruit, I'm going to choose the ice fruit. Right? Because ice fruit has also water, shark, you know, the connection. <laughs> Wait a minute. But if you have a better fruit in mind, please comment it on the comment section and I will consider that. Okay. So let's head to the Fountain City to grind. Don't worry guys, Gali Pirates. Again, Loge is in effect very easy grinding okay whether you use your skills or left clicks everything will be easy target level here is 793 and after that we are now heading to the middle town to go back to the second sea okay guys so in the second sea we're gonna still continue grinding and our target here is the swan pirates and again they don't have hockey so there will be no problem same with the galley pirates the only difference is you will get higher experience which will make grinding a lot easier and faster. So again, we're gonna grind here until we reach level 850. And after that, head to the cafe, do the Bartillo quest. First quest, you need to defeat 50 swan pirates. Yes, the one that we are beating a while ago. There you go, fast forwarding it. Okay, so after that, you need to beat Jeremy, the boss in this part of the island. There you go. And after that, you can now head to the Colosseum. Make sure to finish the puzzle. So here is the puzzle, guys. First is Y. Next is this one. Next is this one, the C. The S. The M. Or that, the N. There you go. Oh, sorry, it's F and N and B. Okay. After that, you will get the Warrior Helmet. And now head to the Green Zone. Look for the NPC Alchemist. After that, he will ask you to look for three flowers. So for our first flower, we found it here on a hill. There you go, in between cafe and the bridge to the green zone. Next up, guys, we got the yellow flower from beating Swan Pirates. And the last one, we got this from Yusuf Island, the blue flower. Okay, there you go. So once you get all three flowers, you just need to go back to Alchemist. There you go. And you need to pay him. What a greedy dude, right? Like for 500,000 bellies. After that, it will enhance your ability to swim. No more damage taken from water anymore. Okay, next up, race V3. Target level is level 1000. That is the requirement level so that you can start the quest. So we're gonna keep grinding here with Swan Pirates until you reach level 925. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the stats. 250 mil defense, blocks for 2275. Moving on, next target is the green zone. And the target mob is Fajita or Fujitora. So guys, we're gonna serve our hub here until you reach level 1000. Don't worry guys, he's easy to defeat. There you go. Just do our technique, hit and run. Again, we're gonna reach level 1000 here. Next up guys, you need a block fruit worth 1 million or more. Head to the mansion and talk to this NPC. There you go, Trevor. After giving him... Your block fruit, I gave him a string fruit. He will now let you go inside Swan's room. So you need to defeat Swan. That is also one of the requirements to start the V3 quest or race awakening. There you go. So is it easy to defeat? I don't know, guys. Uh, it's kind of hard once he transforms into its second form. But just again, do the hit and run technique. So you're going to hit him and run to the side. Wait for him to attack. There you go, and use your skills. That's it. Again, dash to the side. There you go, use your skills. Dash to the side. <laughs> and use your skills, okay? Just be patient. Keep on repeating that strategy, and that's it. Okay? Okay, after this, 
there is a secret passage here on Diamond's area, the boss, where you can find this one, Arrow. So he will ask you to defeat a sea beast. That is his requirement for race V3, Shark Awakening. Okay, so let's find a sea beast. Let's go. So gamer, nung kanyang defeat, a sea beast at level 1000. Guys, you're about to find out. Here it is, guys. Check this out. Boom. <laughs> check the HP. <laughs> So I think we should grind first. Okay, so go back to Fajita until you reach level 1028. There you go. After that, we are heading towards the snow mountains. Here it is. Okay. So here, our target is with what? Do Awakening. Wow. Whoa. Lakas ni Lodia. Anyway guys, back to grinding. That's the reason why we're here. So target here is Snow Troopers. Don't worry. No damage. There you go. So keep on grinding here until you reach level 1150. Okay, that is our target level here. Okay. So after that, we are heading towards the hot and cold. So target here is the Smoke Admiral. Check this out guys. Wall Strat. Don't worry. Again, just use your left clicks and that's it. Very easy. There you go guys. No need to dodge, etc. We are strong enough to tank his attacks or skills. Okay. So for our target level, it is 1288. Okay, 1288. After that, curse ship and target. Guys, ship deckhands only. Okay, only. Why? Because they don't have hockey and they're easy to defeat. They're near each other. They're near the quest giver. Okay. So we are leaving here at level 1394. For the stats, melee 400, defense 1332, max black fruits. Next up, ice castle, target. Arctic Warriors guys same with the other mobs there you go just use your M1 if you want or if you want to make use of your fruit there you go use your skills guys we are too strong for these mobs so at level 1474 next stop Forgotten Island and we are going to reach level 1500 with the sea soldiers because these are the only mobs that doesn't have hockey here there you go so guys, at level 1,500, finally we, we can get our revenge from the Sea Beast. Okay, so can we beat him now? I think yes. There are no damage in the water now. Also, guys, take note that we are using the Water Kung Fu now. Gamer Noma, I'm still having a hard time defeating Sea Beasts. Guys, some tips. Hmm. If you can, you use Magma. That's really easy. And uh, use your observation hockey wisely, meaning only use it when he's about to use his laser. Okay. So guys, I will be sh again. I will be showing you the stats after this. I kind of balanced everything from defense to melee and to blocks fruits. We're about to defeat this one. Okay. There you go, guys. I'm gonna show you the stats, like I told you. Defense 2000, melee 1000, blocks fruits 1-5, okay? After this, you can now head back to Arrow, the one who gave you the V3 race awakening quest. Here he is. There you go. You need to pay him 2 million to evolve your race. And that's it, guys. After that, just defeat or continue the Coliseum quest. You will fight Endra. Don't worry. This version of him is kind of weak and you only need to damage him until half of his HP. Okay, after that, head to the green zone, talk to Mr. Captain, and he will then send you to the third sea. Now for the requirements of race V4. First, you need to beat Indra again. So head to the sea castle, make sure you have the three legendary hockeys and someone with the God's Chalice. Now you can start the Battle of Gods. There you go. So guys, I just got carried here. It's obvious it's really hard at 1500 there you go you will get an item the valkyrie helm here it is okay so next requirement you need to get the mirror fractal so guys how do you get it you need god's chalice we got lucky we got one from a chest next stop head to the chocolate land and we need uh what do you call this conjured cocoa okay so you can get those from every mob here in this island nice technique here just do wall strat there you go, wall strat is real. Again, you need to get 10, okay? So once you get 10, there you go, conjured cocos plus one god chalice, you can exchange it for a candy chalice, okay? So this is the requirement to defeat the Doe King. 
So guys, head to the cake land and defeat 500 mobs in this island. Again, 500. I've seen comments telling that you don't need to do that. That's a cap. Big cap. So again, you need to defeat 500 of them. And after that, you can summon Doking. Just a reminder, the one holding the God's Chalice should summon Doking, okay? With enough damage, you will get the Mirror Fractal and Pale Scarf. There you go. Next up, Mirage Island on a full moon. Guys, this is the hardest part to be honest. But luckily, there you go, Mirage Island and wait for it. Very timely guys, full moon. Okay, so head to the peak. Next up, stare at the full moon and use your skill. Okay, use your racy skill. So here it is, okay, just look at the moon, again, use your race skill, okay, as you can see guys, after 10 seconds, or 15, the moon will resonate or shine at you, there you go, and you can now find the gear, check this out guys, it took me like 10 seconds, this account is really lucky on finding the gear, there you go, so we found the gear really fast, and after getting it, check that out guys, <laughs> Okay, you found a weird artifact, blah blah blah, now head to the Temple of Time. So for the location of Temple of Time, you need to head to the Great Tree, yes, and on the very top of it, you need to run, jump, use your Soru if you don't have a fruit for flying, there you go. Just click it, there you go, go inside and you will find the Temple of Time. Now that you have the gear, you can now pull the lever. Finally guys, after almost months, there you go, the developers already updated the game. Okay, so for the final steps, this can only be done in a full moon, okay? So you need two other players with different races. So for example, one shark, one uh, mink, or what do you call this human, okay? As long as you're not the same. After that, you need to use all your skills in front of your very own trials at the same time. There you go, to start your own trial. For the water or shark race trial, you need to again defeat a sea beast. Okay, so guys, we're gonna defeat a sea beast, but now it is weaker. But the more trials that you finish, the stronger or the more health or HP the sea beast will have, okay? So guys, there you go. You only have one minute to do this. So I suggest if you really want to do this easier or finish this easier, use other fruits. <laughs> or level up, okay? So after that, you need to fight your friends or I don't know if they're just random players from other servers. But for me, these are my friends. So I asked them to lose on purpose. There you go. After that, you can now click the gears. Okay, let's head to that clock, ancient clock. So guys, if you wanna unlock everything, you need to at least, I think, finish it for five times. And for the mastery, I think five more times. There you go. So for the first one, it's transformation. So you just need to fill up this red bar. And after that, you can transform. Just push your Y on the keyboard, Y key, there you go. This will like max out all your stats. Next up guys, there are two gears, the blue gear, first one, I'm gonna showcase it, the whirlpool. So if, every time you hit your enemy, it will stack up and slow them and lower their defense. So as you can see guys, if you get hit, there you go, it stacks up and there is a whirlpool, right? So again, you get slower and your defense get weaker, okay? So that's it for the first gear or the blue gear. For the red gear... We have here, I guess, the shield, right? The Leviathan's armor, there you go. So every time you deal damage to your enemy, you will regenerate your shield, okay? So first, so let's try and damage this enemy. There you go, guys. No damage. He has the armor. But once it fades away, he can now get damage, okay? And in order for him to regenerate it, he needs to attack us. And to finish this video, we're going to use our own account. There you go, 1526 with Awakened Race V4 Shark. So as you can see, it has an armor. And check this out, we're gonna use our left click. There you go. As you can see, there is a whirlpool. There you go, slowed enemy and less defense. So now by attacking the enemy, we will regenerate our 
Leviathan Armor. Let's test it on other mobs. Guys, imagine this is a high level mob, but it is no match to us as long as we have the Race Awakening. So guys, do you think this is worth it? Comment it in the comment section and let's talk about it, okay? Let's kill one more. There you go. I think this will be an easy grind now. Okay guys, so again, I hope that you enjoyed this one. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom. Gamer Nom out.